The earliest advances in speech recognition focused mainly on the creation of vowel sounds as the basis of a system that might also learn to interpret phonemes, phonemes being the building blocks of speech. Dictation machines, pioneered by Thomas Edison, who else, in the late 19th century, were capable of recording speech. And these eventually grew in popularity in later centuries among doctors and secretaries with a lot of notes to take on a daily basis. However, it was not until the 1950s that this line of inquiry would lead to genuine speech recognition. Up to this point, we see attempts at speech creation and recording, but not yet interpretation. Audrey, a machine created by Bell Labs, could understand the digits 0 to 9 with a 90% accuracy rate. Interestingly, this accuracy level was only recorded when its inventor spoke. The accuracy level hovered between 70% and 80% when other people spoke to Audrey. This hints at some of the persistent challenges of speech recognition. Each individual has a different voice and spoken language can be very inconsistent. Unlike text, which has a much greater level of standardization, the spoken word varies greatly based on regional accents, speed, emphasis, even social class <laughs> and gender. Therefore, scaling any speech recognition system has always been a significant obstacle. Alexander Weibel, who worked on Harpy, a machine developed at Carnegie Mellon University that could understand over 1,000 words, built on this point. So you have things like euthanasia, which could be youth in Asia, or if you say, give me a new display, it could be understood as, give me a new display, and vice versa, presumably. Until the 1990s, even the most successful systems were based on template matching, where sound waves would be translated into a set of numbers and stored. These would then be triggered when an identical sound was spoken into the machine. Of course, this meant that one would have to speak very clearly, slowly and in an environment with no background noise to have a good chance of the sounds being recognised. That started to change with IBM Tangora, released in the mid-1980s and named after Albert Tangora, then the world's fastest typist. And it could adjust to the speaker's voice. Now, it did still require slow, clear speech and no background noise, but its use of hidden Markov models allowed for increased flexibility through data clustering and the prediction of upcoming phonemes based on the recent patterns. Although it required 20 minutes of training data in the form of recorded speech from each user, Tangora could then recognise up to 20,000 English words and some full sentences. The seeds are sown here for voice recognition, one of the most significant and essential developments in this field. It was always a long-established truism that speech recognition could only succeed by adapting to each person's unique way of communicating, but arriving at this breakthrough has been much easier said than done. It was only in 1997 that the world's first continuous speech recognizer, meaning one no longer had to pause between each word, was released in the form of Dragon's naturally speaking software. Capable of understanding 100 words per minute, it is still in use today, albeit in an upgraded form, and it is favored by doctors for notation purposes. Google, which claims now to be a machine learning first company, combined the latest technology with the power of cloud-based computing to share data and improve the accuracy of machine learning algorithms. This culminated in the launch of the Google Voice Search app for iPhone in 2008. Driven by huge volumes of training data, the Voice Search app showed remarkable improvements on the accuracy levels of previous speech recognition technologies. Google built on this to introduce elements of personalization into its voice search results and used this data to develop its hummingbird algorithm, arriving at a much more nuanced understanding of language in use, both spoken and in text. These strands have been tied together in the Google Assistant, which is now resident in almost 50% of all smartphones. It was Siri 
Apple's entry into the voice recognition market that first captured the public's imagination, however. As the result of decades of research, this AI-powered digital assistant brought a touch of humanity to the sterile world of voice and speech recognition. After Siri, Microsoft launched Cortana, Amazon launched Alexa, and the wheels were set in motion for the current battle for supremacy among the tech giants' respective speech recognition platforms. The journey is still incomplete, but as we can see in this image, we have travelled quite some distance from the room-sized computers of the 1950s and the dictation machines of the 19th century. For more tech history videos, just make sure you subscribe somewhere over here. Thank you.